The Disney theme parks around the world are incredible. There are characters to meet, incredible themed environments, delicious food to eat, and of course, the attractions. The rides and shows that keep you coming back again and again. Today, we're taking a look at everything new that's currently being built by Disney around the world. Hi guys, Joe here for Independent Guides, and today we're taking a look at new rides on the way to Disney theme parks. We'll start off with the original Disney park, the Disneyland Resort. So last year 2019 was a big year for Disneyland as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge arrived and became the largest expansion ever to that park. In recent years there's also been re-themes at Disney's California Adventure. In 2018 there was Paradise Pier which became Pixar Pier with a re-themed roller coaster, the carousel and some of the other flat rides. And another big change came in 2017 when the Tower of Terror became the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. But now it's time for California Adventure to get something completely new and unique. Gardens of the Galaxy was just the start of the creation of Avengers Campus. This is a brand new land which replaces a Bugs Land. Originally due to open in July this year, before 2020 went haywire, was Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. And this ride is still set to open whenever Disneyland is allowed to open back up. It looks like it's ready. So whether that's this year in 2020 or even 2021. Web Slingers is a new interactive dark ride and riders are gonna to get to sling webs and catch the out of control spider bots before they wreak havoc on the campus. The attraction will be in 3D and the ride will use specially designed innovative technology that detects body movements and gestures. Disney says you'll reach out your hands and sling webs from your wrists just like Spider-Man. The ride won't have a minimum height requirement and will be a fantastic new addition to the park. We'll also get to see a second main new attraction called Avengers Quinjet Experience and this will let you fly alongside the adventures in an epic adventure to Wakanda and beyond. Disney says this will be an all new ride system. We're expecting something similar to Avatar Flight of Passage or Soarin' mixed in with the interactivity of Smuggler's Run. But Disney's concept art makes it look like you'll be flying individually. So it's likely to be a ride system we've never seen before. So that's really exciting. And Disney hasn't given us an opening date yet for Avengers Quinjet Experience, but expect to see this arriving around 2022. Now we're only covering rides in this video, but just so you know, Avengers Campus will also have a new elaborate meet and greet with Doctor Strange called the Sanctum. There'll be two new stores and a new quick service food location called Pim Test Kitchen, and that's gonna be set in an old lab. The other new ride coming to the Disneyland Resort is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which will open in Toontown in Disneyland Park. The ride was originally meant to open in 2022, but this has been pushed back to 2023 due to construction delays. And this will be a clone of the same ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios, which opened in March this year. On your Runaway Railway adventure, you'll step through the movie screen into what Disney Imagineers describe as a zippy, zany, out of control adventure. Disney's done a fantastic job with this ride at Hollywood Studios and what starts off as a slow train ride ends up turning into a trackless adventure. The special effects, there's amazing projections and Disney calls it 2.5D which makes the 2D look like 3D without needing any special glasses. As your train goes out of control you'll visit an amusement park, an underwater world, you'll see a big city, you'll take a dance lesson with Daisy and you'll even stare a trash compactor in the face. The ride is a really great addition. It has no minimum height requirements, so everyone gets to ride, and it's gonna be a fantastic addition to the park. Next, we're hopping on a plane, and we're traveling 2,200 miles east to the Walt Disney World Resort and its four theme parks. So Magic Kingdom will be getting a new roller coaster soon, Tron Light Cycle Power Run, and this will be a clone of the ride at Shanghai Disneyland. So we rode this attraction last year, and Floridians, you are in for a treat. On this ride, you'll board a light cycle ride vehicle and you'll sit forward like you would on a motorbike and hold onto the handlebars. Then it'll be launched at just under 60 miles an hour into an outdoor section and this is under the ride's cool canopy before going indoors into the show building and racing against other light cycles which will be on screens. So that 60 miles an hour launch compares to 30 miles an hour on Space Mountain and 35 miles an hour on Big Thunder Mountain. And if they keep the same rider height as Shanghai, then we we'll expect the height limit to be 48 inches. Tron Light Cycle Power Run is a really, really fun ride. And when it opens, it will be the second fastest Disney ride in the US after Test Track. The ride was originally due to open in fall 2021 in time for Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary, but this may still be pushed back to 2022 as construction slowed during the pandemic and Disney changed its priorities. Hopefully they can get it open during that all important 50th anniversary year though. 
Over at Epcot, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure was due to open in summer 2020 in the France Pavilion, but this has been moved to 2021. This is a clone of the ride at Disneyland Paris, and so we know exactly what to expect. It's a trackless dark ride with screens, and this will take you into Remy's kitchen through the rooftops of Paris. And all's going very well, of course. You'll sneak into the fridge before being caught by Chef Skinner. Then it's time to escape. And this is a fun ride. It's got a clever mix of physical sets and screens, but it does have more screens than we'd hoped for from Disney, to be honest. Nevertheless, it's going to be a great addition to Epcot's World Showcase, and again, no minimum height limit. Also in Epcot, over in Future World, a new roller coaster is coming called Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This will be one of the world's longest indoor roller coasters. Apparently, the storyline will be a big part of this coaster, so we're expecting something similar to Gringotts at Universal. The ride cars will actually do a similar thing to Gringotts, so they'll be able to spin to show you certain scenes, and you can even expect a backwards launch on this ride. Disney's keeping quiet with the specifics for now, but previously said that the ride would open in 2021. Epcot's also going to be getting a new play pavilion and possibly even a reimagining of Spaceship Earth and the Mary Poppins attraction. These last two were both announced, but they now look like they're delayed or canceled. There's also going to be a new nighttime show called Harmonious and the China Pavilion is going to be getting a new 360 degree circle vision film. Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios have had huge additions in the past few years between Galaxy's Edge, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and Pandora, so at this time they aren't getting any new rides for these parks. So we're hopping across the Atlantic to Disneyland Paris where there's big changes coming to Resort's second park. So this is Walt Disney Studios and Disneyland Paris is preparing for its 30th anniversary already in 2022. Walt Disney Studios is being expanded enormously and there's going to be three new lands, a 2 billion euro investment. The new lands will be Avengers Campus, a Frozen themed land and a Star Wars land. At Avengers Campus, which is rumored to open in 2021, we have the Spider-Man Slingshot attraction from Disney's California Adventure, so that will be a clone of that. As well as this, we're going to have Rock and Roller Coaster, which is being transformed into the Iron Man Adventure. The actual track of the ride won't be changing, but we can expect all new theming inside, outside, the queue line, and all the way along the track. Finally, there's also going to be a new meet and greet area called Mission Control, and there's going to be the Ant-Man Laboratory, which is a new restaurant as well. Also due to open next year is Cars Route 66, which will be a reworking of the Studio Tram Tour. The London set from that ride has been demolished to make room for the new areas of the park, but the Catastrophe Canyon set is going to remain. Cars Route 66 was originally meant to open in summer 2020, but this has been pushed back to 2021. By 2022 and the resort's 30th anniversary and this park's 20th anniversary, there should be a new central street which will lead up to a brand new seven acre lake and this will be home to the park's new nighttime spectacular. Disneyland Paris is being very secretive with the rest of the project. So that includes the Frozen theme land, which we can expect to see probably in 2023. And all the following is just pure speculation because Disney hasn't confirmed any of these. But looking at the concept art, we can expect to see one new major attraction, very possibly a clone of Frozen Ever After from Epcot's Norway Pavilion. The land will also have a lakeside restaurant and one large shop plus a smaller shop. And you can also expect to see Elsa's Castle as its big landmark. And then in 2024 or 2025, you can expect to see the park's final theme land, Star Wars. Nothing official has been detailed and it's too early to have the construction permits for this, but the concept art of this area looks surprisingly similar to Galaxy's Edge from the American park. So you can expect to see shops, a restaurant, a meet and greet area, and there's probably only going to be one of the two major attractions here. And fingers crossed that this is Rise of the Resistance. With construction only having started on Avengers Campus, who knows if this project will actually see the light of day with the current tourism downturn. Hopefully Disney is thinking longer term here and the rest of the project isn't scrapped. Next up, we're over in Asia at Disney's smallest theme park resort, Hong Kong Disneyland. 2020 is seeing the transformation of Hong Kong Disneyland's icon, which is changing from Sleeping Beauty's castle to the new Castle of Magical Dreams. At the moment, this is in its final stage of construction, and we expect to see a full unveiling by the end of the year, as well as a new nighttime show as well to accompany it. Elsewhere, just like Disneyland Paris, Hong Kong Disneyland is also getting new land, and here it's called Arendelle World of Frozen. We expect this land to be very similar to Disneyland Paris's with shops, Elsa's Castle, a restaurant, but instead of Frozen Ever After, Hong Kong Disneyland is going to be getting a new roller coaster 
called Wandering Oaken Sliding Slays. And we expect this to be very similar to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Arendelle World of Frozen is expected to open in late 2021 or early 2022. Hong Kong Disneyland will also be welcoming the Avengers Quinjet experience from Disney's California Adventure, as well as a new Stark Expo restaurant. Next, we're going over to mainland China and Disney's newest theme park, Shanghai Disneyland. So even though the park is only four years old, it's also getting some additions with a new land themed around Zootopia. And this is gonna be located right next door to Fantasyland. Of all the projects, this is the one that we have the fewest details about, but from the concept art, looks like we can expect a new cafe, some shops, and of course, a new attraction. And this looks like it's going to be housed inside a building themed as Zootopia Central Station. We have no idea what this ride is going to be at the moment, so we wouldn't expect to see this land until 2022 at the earliest. Finally, we end our tour of the Disney parks across the globe at Tokyo Disney Resort. This year has been a huge year for Tokyo Disneyland with an expansion of Fantasyland and the Enchanted Tales of Beauty and the Beast, a new trackless ride. There's also been the Happy Ride with Baymax and also Mini Style Studio, which is a new meet and greet location. If you want to take a better look at the Beauty and the Beast ride, check out our video on Tokyo Disney's most unique rides, which is linked in the description. But now that Tokyo Disneyland has had its fair share of love, it's Tokyo Disney Sea's turn. Tokyo has released a ton of concept art for Fantasy Springs, and this is a new area which is due to open in 2023. So this expansion is a 2.3 billion US dollar investment, and it'll be a port made up of three mini lands themed to Frozen, yes again, Tangled and Peter Pan. And there will be a total of four new attractions, but one of those is a meet and greet. There's also going to be a new in-park luxury hotel, and this looks like it's going to give the Hotel Miracosta a good run for its money. Starting off with the Tangled area, this is going to feature a boat ride, and this is going to be a romantic trip with Rapunzel and Flynn as they celebrate their best day ever. You can expect to see a beautiful rendition of the key songs from the film, as well as lots of floating lanterns. The area's main icon is going to be Rapunzel's Tower, and there's also going to be a new restaurant called Tangle Tree Tavern. The frozen area is expected to be pretty much exactly the same as Disneyland Paris's, and we expect the main ride here to be frozen ever after as well. And finally, the Peter Pan area. So this is going to feature two attractions. Pixie Hollow is a character meet and greet, and a brand new Peter Pan ride. So on this new ride, Disney says, the guests are going to join Peter Pan in an adventure to rescue Wendy Darling and her young brother John Darling, who's been kidnapped by Captain Hook and his pirates. Guests will board boats and follow the Lost Boys down a river. When Tinkerbell sprinkles the boats with pixie dust, guests will find themselves flying through Neverland on an unprecedented adventure. Interestingly, I don't think that this is your standard boat ride. I don't think you're going to be traveling in water because it sounds like these boats are going to fly. So instead, I think this is going to be a soaring or flight of passage type experience. Or I could be completely wrong and it's going to be something more like Shanghai's Pirates of the Caribbean's attraction. So we don't have any details, so it all remains to be seen. As well as these attractions, you can expect to see mountains and a skull rock area similar to Disneyland Paris's Adventureland. This will have a pirate ship and it'll probably be called Neverland. And there we have it, all of the new rides that Disney's currently building around the world. So in total, that's 17 brand new rides coming to the parks in the next five years or so. And I've not even included the reimagining of attractions like Spaceship Earth or some of the more minor experiences like the Play Pavilion that may be canceled, Mary Poppins attraction, the shows, meet and greets. I've not included that in the number. So in total, there's probably closer to about 30 new experiences coming to the parks, as well as of course the themed lands and the shops and all the new food you're gonna be able to try as well. Plus, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of new things announced between now and then. It's an incredibly exciting time to be a Disney Parks fan, and we just can't wait to ride all of these. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the rest of our channel. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up, as a lot of research went into this video. And also, please hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Disney and theme park content. At Independent Guides, we publish travel guidebooks to all the Disney parks around the world. So if you're planning a trip, head to independentguidebooks.com to grab a copy. Let us know in the comments which of these new rides you're looking forward to the most. I've been Gio from Independent Guides and we'll see you in the next video.